Hey friends, hey welcome there. back to our channel. Today we're gonna taste a new tea for our website. It is a green tea that comes in a, a pressed ball shape. Super cute. Yeah, it's called Lei Shan Yin Qiu. Uh, stay tuned for more if you want to learn about this tea. If you're new to the channel, I'm Phil. I'm Jen. <laughs> And at Gen Tea, we specialize in tasting great Chinese tea. Um, on our website, there's all kinds of great, amazing teas. And on this YouTube channel, you can um, see videos where we travel to tea gardens, we do how to brew, we do tea tastings like we're doing today, travel around the country, and much, much more. So be sure to click the subscribe button so you'll know whenever we post a new video. Just a jump into brewing. Yes, I'm pretty excited. So this tea is uh, from Guizhou province. Lei Shan Yin Qiu, the name Lei Shan is the location. Uh, is from Lei Gong Shan. Yin Qiu is uh, describing the shape. Yin means uh, silver. Uh, usually when there's uh, like a Yin in tea, it kind of means it has a lot of a. Uh, Fuzz, I'm guessing. Fuzz, yeah. exactly. So it's a young buds and stuff. Qiu means ball. So that's the name. It did look pretty silver. No, it smells really good. I love that. A little bit of sweet, huh? I smelled it earlier. Right? That smell is very, uh, very early plus smell. Mmm. Mm, sweet, creamy. A little hint of sweet corn. Yeah. But yeah. it's, yeah, in the humid guy one, I smelled it dry earlier, like pure, Ooh. just cold, dry. And I still had that little sweetness. Mm. Now it's in the steam guy one. Gentle rose, like yes. not even, yes. it's not nutty yet, but you know, this doesn't, this kind of a gentle, beautiful roasting, you wouldn't get much of that from those, mm. uh, uh, like a steamed green tea or those, uh, um, Home team green tea. Mm. Oh, I love this. You know, green tea, you smell this smell, you know, it's a green tea. It's a good green it's tea. It's gonna be fine, yeah. I was surprised on the pure dry ball before I we warmed it up how aromatic it was. Because usually mm. for and it's not just dry as less, but it's also pressed into a ball. So I expected it to be almost nothing, but it's pretty pretty lovely aroma. Yeah, yeah. Usually when it's a press, we're expecting less. It's actually very pretty to See how it slowly come apart. Mm. And Little bubbles percolating up out of the uh, pressed tea ball. <laughs> A little bit mesmerized. It expands pretty well, actually. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's expanding nicely. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer when you first poured the water. It barely moved, but now it's really opening up. Yeah, yeah, it's quite magic. I should stop just staring at it. Sometimes when you're infusing tea, it's easy to get a little bit over engaged in the actual infusion, the appearance of the infusion and suddenly you've oversteeped. I, I don't I, think that's the case, but. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit understeeped. I think you don't like under. that cup, so I'm gonna give you this okay, cup. Okay, this, that works for me. Am I right? Oh yeah, a little bit understeeped. Mm. This is my first time brew this type of um, Ball shaped. Mm. Smell that. Smell Still that has that very, little. very. Oh wow, that's pure. That's so different than the uh, than when we smell the dry leaf. Mm. Yeah, I'm a little bit off. It's a little bit light, but you already have that green tea. This is booming. Booming, refreshing. I know. I smell it. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, have a little. Mm. How would you describe that besides that? Besides... This is early pluck of green yeah, tea smell. Yeah, young, vibrant, you know, vibrant, fresh green tea. And rich, very rich. I'm looking for more like Not traditional strong. flavor notes, oh, like, oh, you know, right, like comparisons, right, right. and I'm coming up. They seem insufficient. Let me have another try, see if I can, that helps me get a word. Mm. 
Oh, really fresh, bright, I'm getting more metaphoric words. Mm. It does have, you know, there's there's that oh, what is sweet that bean? green bean maybe. I don't want to use vegetables because they no. make it, they don't do justice, but it has no, that it bean has and that really fresh sheet. asparagus kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, bright. Infuse it with that, a mini but starchy sweeter. bean. Mm. Like a, not garbanzo, but. Mung like, bean? Mung bean, not quite. You know, certain beans are more, not too much into the nutty kind of, it's a heavier to the starchy, uh, starchy side. Mmm. And even if it's light, it, the liquor has a little hint of that sweetness. Light, but at least I can tell it's a green tea. Mm. I think uh, later on I'm gonna have a video of how to brew this green tea because mm. it's a little bit tricky because it's a green tea but in a bowl shape. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. Mm, no, actually, less time. I was wrong. Because it's open, right? Remember mm. when it opens, the second infusion always speed up. Let's see. Feels right. Mm. Feels much better, the liquor color. Did I get a liquid on my. No, no? looks good. Oh. I feel like I got it. I love the, uh, so remember we talked about the, the uh, Jing is silver on Bujing? Ying. Ying. Yeah. Um, so we see, yes, yeah. there is lots of fuzz on yeah, this Yeah, it looks as if it's, it's murky, but it's not. The liquor is actually quite radiant. So mm. what's make that a little bit uh, like a... It's uh, full of fuzz. Yeah, it's just it's a packed. thick, thick fuzz. Mm. I haven't drink much tea today, so I really look forward to having a sip. And when I smell this tea, it's oh, totally there we go. just the smell was uplifting for this mm -hmm. afternoon. And the liquor time. is not going to disappoint you. It's full of that same uplifting freshness. Really Didn't mute to... my phone. <laughs> I don't know. What should I say about the tasting notes? Like, I'm a little bit sad I couldn't come up with anything. Mm. The smell has a really gentle floral and it's those sweet little flowers. Not stinky flowers. Sometimes you know you have that stinky flowers. I don't know if people know. I. I understand what you mean now because we walk, we go for walks a lot oh, and really in the field mm. there's sometimes those sticky flowers, a little bit pungent, still lovely because they're flowers, mm. but uh, this is the sweeter, more lovely. Mm. There's a really mm. nice... It's there. sweet, right? It's, it has that gentle sweetness there. <laughs> Yeah, very nice sweetness, but the interesting thing about a green tea is you've got the sweetness, but you still have that brothy umami mm. with the sweetness that is somehow not conflicted, right. right? It's not savory at all. And mm. as I breathe out, you would have that, um, in Chinese we call that hao xiang, like the tea fuzz, the trichrome, the aroma that's it quite unique. It will remind you of uh, like mm. a Bai Hao Yin Zhen because it's also very thick. It's a very tender, very delicate kind mm. of a unique, unique common aroma that uh, this kind of a fuzz rich tea shares. Mm. Mm. Oh boy. Oh, the bottom cup is really... Uh, oh. Sugary. Oh my god. I can't wait to bring this tea. Actually, I want to try to brew this in a, like, like a big teapot or stuff. Just throw one in and see how that goes. Right, nice convenient mm. format for that. Mm. So I weigh this. Did I mention this? I weigh this. It's around mm -hmm. 2.5 grams. 
it's a hand rolled, so it's not like everybody is right 2.5. Some might be 2.6, or this one is 2.4. So I guess hmm, I might put two balls if we're using our like uh, the Harrier, the morning broom vessel. I think I might put two. Hmm. It's hard to say because it sits there too, so it does have that long exactly. infusion time if we do a teapot style. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll test the all different ways of brewing and share that in the later videos. I really like the flavor of this tea. Right? Really refreshing. It's light and rich at the same time. Those are what I call annoying teas. Because it's so hard to describe it. Yeah. I don't want to give people the impression this is a pungent, like a really like obvious uh, kind of a tea. But on the other hand, it's also not like a lack of flower, uh, sorry, flavor mm -hmm. or anything. Like, I, I'm struggling too. I put bright, bright corn, meaning it's got yes. a sweet corn flavor, but it's not basic corn. It's like a brightened, uplifting corn with some hints of greenness some freshness some f like f mm. i don't want to say fr green corn because that sounds gross but yeah they're green corn no but you know what i mean it has the fresh bright green yes. element yes. with that corn sweetness yes it's and, like an undertone yeah it's and, always there that uh, gentle sweetness mm. so while what's on top of it is might change a little bit from your smell mm. from the taste and a really nice Again, I don't want to say roastiness because a lot of people go to like a, think more like roasty oolongs, but you can taste that yeah, yeah. sweet roasty green. Right. Um, really, oh, this is really something. Very sien, that early pluck. Mm. That, um, yes. Yeah. Sien is, uh, I think, am I right? Is that uh, Mandarin for umami? Yeah, umami. Yeah, it has a really healthy dose of umami all packed in with this sweet, brothy freshness. Which... l theanine <laughs> Amino acid. <laughs> yeah, it has all the buzzwords. But it's just really um, well put together, you know? Mm. Um, Nothing's really jumping. No one piece of the profile is leaping out and dominating the other. It's got this nice combination, this nice mixture. Mm. Mm. I'm excited to try this in the uh, in the um, in a teapot too. Yeah, I love the Gaiwan brew, but uh, I'm thinking one ball will do the trick. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, yeah. I'm testing it out. Mm. Mm, light, mm. light, sweet. Less mm. of the uh, um, the floral, more of the sweetness. Mm. So earlier the lid was quite floral, huh? Yeah, the, I feel the non -stinky, more to the floral, the non-stinky flower. Yeah. Like, uh, it's just to feel like uh, it's more floral with a little touch of sweet. Now it's the opposite. Mm. I have to sweet say. with a little touch of floral? Yeah. The amount Still of fuzzy. It's uh, incredible. I can, I can see the difference when I pour it out. The, the way the water flows, the texture, like I can really see it. Mm. How would you describe this uh, like a color? Light yellow? Oh uh, yeah, or just yellow, maybe. Yeah. Light gold. I wouldn't use gold personally. Not? No, because I always want to see a little 18? bit more of orange and gold. But yeah, orange? it is possibly gold. You know those gold. pale gold, like 18K? Yeah, is it light 18K? gold maybe. Light gold slash yellow. Right, mm -hmm. not rose gold. I'm definitely not rose gold. There's <laughs> just so many names, I really cannot tell them apart. 
Silky mouthfeel. Silky. I don't want to say thick because I always think of thick when I think of puar. You know, like that viscous feeling. This has a viscosity. It's the green tea thickness. Yes. Like, uh, when yes. we talk about thick, uh, we cannot compare across the tea categories. Mm. Actually, that applies more than just the texture. Mm. It's the aroma too. Mm. Mm. Like there's no way a green tea is the same way of presentation like the oolong, right? Mm. Or like the black. So sometimes I find people might have a little gap, a little disappointment if you are a long time oolong drinker, which happened to myself too. Long time oolong drinker mm. and drink a green tea. Then found like, huh, not as much uh, booming, not as much uh, mm. like to taste, but once you, um, how should I say, have the right mindset, like mm. tasting a green tea, it opened up, at least for me, it really opened up a new world of appreciating the green tea presentation of as mm -hmm. a flavor. Almost it, like the green tea personality. Exactly. It's a different uh, approach. Um, and that's probably why we all like different teas and different moods, right? Mm. You're basically lining up your personality in the moment with the tea. Yeah. I love the fuzz in this. So it settles after a while yeah. in the bottom of the cup and you can actually see it. Yeah, yeah. It's quite impressive, I have to say. And here's the kicker with this fuzz. <laughs> this is so interesting. It happened on my last sip too. But what happens is, I thought in my first sip, I thought it was some tea leaf at the bottom. Okay. You know, sometimes you get a, cup, a little leaf in your cup, no problem. It's green tea, it's tender, it's delicious. You can just sip the leaf and eat it and it's very tender. So I, I thought that's what was going on because a little collection of green was in the bottom of my cup, but it was actually mostly fuzz. And it, and it wasn't, it was just like, um, instead of having a little bit of that fiber texture like the leaf, it was like a, a silky pussy willow like explode in my mouth. It was really lovely, sweet and delicious. And um, oh boy, I don't know. I really like this tea. I've never, yeah. I don't think I've ever had such a fuzzy green tea. I may mm. be wrong. I may be wrong. Mm. But I don't recall having so much um, tricolor. It, it is like a very impressive. It's Even a, for me, a, I feel yeah. like it's a, a, at the top of the. Uh, list in terms of how much mm. fuzz that I can visually see when I pour that out and of taste. the guy one mm. and taste and texture wise like not just a flavor wise mm. taste but texture yeah. wise to yeah. have a sensation on the tongue um, yeah I'm gonna change my mouthfeel note from silky to fuzz filled silkiness mm. fuzz filled silkiness yeah it's good that we make this video. Now, if we make up those uh, super wackadoo words, you at least know what we're trying to say. At least there's some context, right? This is super challenging. So I hope you guys will go to the website and at least read my description and leave a little, uh, leave a little comment in the comments down below about uh, what you thought about my tea description. And if you have some better ways to describe it, if you've mm. tried the tea, let me know. Maybe I'll integrate them into the description. Right. I don't mind. Yeah. Pretty mm. consistent. Yeah. 2.5 grams, 2.4 grams this ball. Okay, in my regular guy one. This is the guy one I brought here to Canada with me on my very first trip across the Pacific. Mm. Wow. Still didn't chip. <laughs> I hope she didn't jinx it. I might, I might break a guy one tonight by accident. I feel like you're tempting fate. Mm. So what I, why I mention that is because how much I brew in this guy one. So you, when I do like a three gram ish green tea, and usually green tea, you know, it's a tea that lasts about, uh, we say four or five. Uh, infusions depends on different teas. Some might last a little bit longer, five, six infusions. And this one, this is the fourth infusion. And mm. I feel like it's very consistent mm. so far. There's Agreed. no Agreed. no holes showing. Uh, 
the flavor has changed a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, it's like a, a gentle adjustment rather than a drastic mm. up and down. Mm. Yeah, I would say I'm... I think I'm, there's at least like two more infusions in it. We're moving more towards a traditional umami. Mm. The sweetness is kind of tucking under the umami now. Still there, Agreed. but it's not... Uh, before we were really round with all the things sort of there. And now it's more like the umami starting to dominate. Mm. Mm. Really nice mouthfeel still. Dominate might be a strong word. It's starting to present uh, more in the front. Mm. You know. I'll definitely keep brewing this too for mm. at least two infusions. Mm. Well, this is it for this Lei Shan Ying Qiu green tea tasting. Mm. I hope you found this entertaining and... Uh... Entertaining and informative. <laughs> and I, I, I'm going to just come out and say it. I hope mm. for you that you'll click the link down below and grab some. It's a really fun green tea. Um, we had trouble describing it. It was so integrated and flavorful. It really f felt like we had some bright corn, maybe some asparagus, but mm. these words seem to really not do the tea justice. So grab some and see how you like it. Leave some comments down below with some better tasting notes for me, please help me out. <laughs> yeah. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel so that uh, you will be notified as soon as we have new content. Until next time, keep, keep steeping. steeping.